This is Tim Weir with a video clip from SemiHomemadeTools.com. This is Tim Weir and today we're going to talk about doing markup or layout on metal parts. The problem you have with a, a normal metal part is that if you're going to try to mark where you're going to put, where you're going to drill holes, etc., is you need you need something that's going to mark on the metal itself, uh, but you want it to be precise enough that you can get the holes exactly where you want them. So, you know, a pencil line might work, but it's generally going to be too wide and uh, you're not going to be able to find the exact location that you want. You're also going to find that uh, it may not be visible enough on the metal when you actually start working with it. So we're going to do a little quick demo here and I've just got a scrap piece of aluminum that's two inches wide and that's what we're going to work on today. There are several different ways you can do this, uh, and I'm just going to show you two. One, uh, the standard in the industry has always been to use something like this. It's called Dicam is the brand. It's steel blue. It's, it's called the layout fluid. And all it is is some fluid that is uh, color typically blue, and you just sort of paint it on where you're going to make your mark and then you wait uh, and you're going to wait for a while because it takes a little bit to dry you know only a couple of minutes but while that's drying i'm going to show you the alternative that i like most of the time and that is to use your plain old everyday blue sharpie uh, it works in my opinion just about as well so we're just going to mark it and the nice thing about it is that it's a little bit thinner um, it will dry much, much faster. In fact, it's dry enough for me to use right now. And I don't know if you can see the other one is still got quite a bit of reflection to it, which means that it is still quite damp. So while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, the method that I use for uh, doing my, my layouts. This is just a simple uh, square, and we're going to use a, um, a carbide scribe. Now, there's lots of different ways that you could do this. I've seen people use everything from a, a nail um, to a pocket knife to um, a screwdriver. You can use about anything you want, but the nice thing about a carbide tip is that, it, first off, it will definitely mark just about anything. And it's so precise, it's going to make such a small line that uh, it's going to help us get exactly where we want when we're ready to actually do our drilling or whatever the operation is. Now I've set this for one inch because for this I just want to be able to put a line that is halfway across. So all we're going to do, lay it up there, and I'm just going to make a very light scribe line like that. Okay. Now, I may not have actually made that quite strong enough. I'm going to make it just a little bit stronger. And when I pick it up, you should be able to see a lot of reflection where the line itself is. Okay? And then, of course, if we wanted to do a cross on it, we would have measured down from the end exactly where we want it. And we'll put another line like that. So now, you can see we have a nice little spot where we can definitely mark, uh, know exactly where it is that we want that hole to be. Now the other, the die cam is just about dry now. It's pretty hazed over. I can still see a couple of damp spots, but I think I could go ahead and mark it. I'm going to go ahead and mark the one across. And then I'll go back and reset this to the one inch. And we'll mark it here. Okay. Again, you can see the line very well. In fact, you can probably see the line slightly better with the steel blue than you can with the magic marker. But uh, the fact is, both are going to work. And at this point... If we were wanting to uh, 
dimple that for our for the uh, for the drilling operation you'll actually find that you can as you move the tip there you can find that exact spot where where the two of them two lines intersect put that right there do the same thing up here now we have these two that are all set and ready to drill so I'm not going to drill these right now but I do want to show you how you're going to clean up and the way I clean it up is with acetone acetone is um, a solvent that will clean both of these up very easily very nicely just put a little on a on a rag and you can see that there's a slight blue haze uh, that, but that's coming from the, the cloth we can do a little bit more and it's completely clean I'll try to clean up the, the die cam as well it honestly does not clean up quite as easily but you can get it there you go just a little bit more fluid on it so now we got that all cleaned up so you can you can get the blue off entirely um, so you don't need to worry about what it's going to look like afterwards in another video we will show you exactly what would happen when uh, the process for doing some buffing on this to, to really brighten it up then afterwards but that's about it for this if uh, you enjoyed it if you got anything out of it by all means give it a thumb up and um, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and stop over to semihomemadetools.com and uh, give us a holler over there thank you very much this video is presented by semi homemade tools where we help you create and build tools to fall in love with if you enjoyed it or found it useful please give it a thumbs up and if you have not already subscribed to my youtube channel please do so now we welcome you to visit us and find lots of other free information at semihomemadetools.com.